Bula, my name is Akanisi Wutango and I joined Fiji Airways in 2005. I am married to Edward Wutango, who was also a flight purser, and we have four children. We both flew for 15 years with Fiji Airways until May 2020. I would like to share a memorable flight. And this uh, flight was quite intense as we had uh, to leave Nandi at around midday. And the flight uh, times to Tongan return was uh, just over one hour. And we had to do a quick turnaround in Nandi before flying to Sydney. Once we were on our way to Tonga, we had completed our meal service and the procedures. We were into the last phase of the flight. We were getting ready to sit down. And the fast seat belt sign comes on. At this moment, the person is making a final announcement. And as I was strapping into my seat, I had a clear view of the center aisle. I saw a uh, passenger, a male passenger in his 30s of Tongan descent, and he was a stocky build. I saw him uh, walk in the mid cabin from the left hand side to the right hand side of the aircraft, and I was waiting for him to sit down. And I mentioned this to a uh, person. I just said that I was going to go and turn to this passenger to tell him to sit down. As I arrived at mid cabin, I was shocked to see that this passenger was standing over a Tongan middle-aged man uh, and he was attempting to give CPR to this man in his seat. Already the wife of the sick man was already crying and uh, the sick uh, passenger, his eyes were closed and he was frothing at the mouth and he was not even responding to uh, the wife's cries. And at the same time I could hear the undercarriage uh, come out for the landing and I knew that we had to act faster. I just mentioned to the passengers um, if nobody gets strapped in we would all be in danger. And time was of the essence and even more so for the sick man. So we all got strapped in and as we touched down into Tonga I just quickly mentioned to our person the medical emergency that we were now faced with. As she was doing the announcement I walked into the cabin with the nearest, uh, look for the nearest first aid kit and then I just started yelling out to the passengers. If any medical personnel was there, was able to assist me, uh, if anyone would come forward. And uh, fortunately, the first passenger in economy class was a doctor who had just gotten off his uh, shift in Sydney and he was on his way to Tonga for the Easter long weekend. And we approached the mid cabin and uh, we had to get this uh, sick man into the aisle. He was unconscious, he was not responding at all. And this was not an easy feat because this man, he was uh, more than 120 kilos. And we had to put him into the narrow aisle and then I had to pull up my skirt and attempt uh, to give CPR to this passenger. And uh, the force of my arms was, it could not even penetrate the man's chest, how big he was. And fortunately, the firefighter passenger who was there, he came and took over the CPR duties. The second crew member who was on the scene, John, he just mentioned at that time, he could just hear the crushing of the bones of the sick man's uh, chest. And uh, with the aid of the firefighter, John bought the first aid kit and I got the onboard defibrillator. We attached the pads onto the sick man's chest and uh, we were waiting for the machine to prompt us. I remember looking at the scene and thinking that this is not good. We had done our best. Had... The only thing left that we could do was to pray. I remember feeling so helpless and I just said we were we needed nothing short of a miracle that day. So I remember going to the sick man's wife and I just asked her, what is your husband's name? And he mentioned, and she mentioned uh, Sione. So I quietly walked down to Sione's feet and knelt down and touched his feet and just began to pray. 
quietly and I let the doctor and the firefighter continue with CPR. And as I prayed, something came over me to just speak over this unconscious shell of a man and just tell him, Sione, come back, Sione, come back. And I just kept saying it over and over again. And faith just stood up in me and I knew that God was not going to let Sione die that day. Because we had the firefighter on the scene, we had uh, who was able to such a big help that day. We had the doctor who was uh, on the scene, who offered his experience and his knowledge. We had uh, such an amazing, fantastic cabin crew. We were actually, we were led by a husband and wife team. Uh, Captain Moore uh, was in charge of the flight and Shereen, his wife, was in charge of the cabin. We also had an experienced uh, uh, pilot, Matthew. He was on the right hand side. And I knew we had such a fantastic crew who were doing their best in this situation that this man, he wasn't going to die. And then almost immediately I had the beeping of the machine. It just said, pulse detected. We just all so relieved at that point to hear those two words. And within minutes, we were able to hand over uh, Sione to the uh, medical team. I learned later that day from the pilots that uh, Sione was actually clinically dead for three minutes. That was coming from the doctor. And when I heard that, it was so significant to me that this was happening on Easter Saturday. And uh, it was like God was reminding me that He was able to resurrect any dead situations in my life. Not was impossible with me. When I joined Fiji Airways in 2005, I had no idea the wealth of experience that was amongst the cabin crew ranks. The cabin crew had to be spontaneous in resolving issues under tight deadlines. They had time limitations, communication challenges in a very challenging environment, increased altitude with factors such as a lack of oxygen made it very challenging. And at the end of the flight, I found out that the, the sick passenger, his name was Sione, the medical doctor who volunteered at the scene, his name was also Sione. And our cabin crew that day who arrived uh, at the scene, his name was John, which is an uh, English name for Sione. Finally, I'd like to thank all of the families and friends at PG Airways. I'd like to thank you all for a great experience uh, working at PG Airways. Despite all the challenges, very grateful for the opportunity that I have. Good night,